what I want to do is talk to you about three things that sort of bubbled up from Birmingham, that bubbled up from Birmingham's online community. Um, some, a lot of people in this room have been involved in them. <laughs> some of them you already know about. Others, those of you on the panel, may or may not know about. The first one is a website called the Big City Plan Talk. Uh, back in at Christmas, a group of people got together around a table, and they were rather frustrated with the fact that the council did have an online mechanism for a consultation on the draft plan for the city centre, but that the online consultation was a little bit clumsy. And what it involved you doing was downloading a very fat PDF full of regen speak, which was quite difficult to understand, and basically bashing in, reading that, and then bashing in a comment, which felt like it went into a black hole. Somebody printed it out, put it in a file. It wasn't a conversation. And so this group of people, led by a chap who isn't here, but John Bounds, uh, got together, and sort of a handful of people took that plan and translated it paragraph by paragraph from regen speak into plain English, and created a website, which is basically a blog, and gave each of those paragraphs its own blog page, which gave people the space to not simply comment on the consultation, but to start a conversation about the consultation. Uh, and the end result of that was that we, we, we think, uh, sometimes the figures shift around a bit, I don't mean in any dodgy way, we think that round about between a one sixth and one between a fifth and a sixth of all of the comments that were made on the draft big city plan were made through this site. Now, this site was made by volunteers. It was made by volunteers who didn't want... What, all they wanted to do was make something better. The council was doing something. It wasn't working properly, so they just wanted to make it better. And what's really interesting, I used to, I used to work in the mainstream media, and if I was a journalist and I looked at something the council was doing and it wasn't working properly, generally speaking, our job would be to highlight that and to criticise it. But the resources we have available to us never seem to be applied to actually just making it better. Whereas active citizens now have the power and the passion and the will and the tools to improve on government should they choose to. So that's the first site. The next one is not so much a site, more a movement. And there are a number of people in here who take part in this. This goes back to October of last year, where uh, a group of Birmingham's bloggers were sort of trying to think, we were being invited to write about poverty for Blog Action Day. So it's a, Nash, it's a global movement, uh, and uh, something called Blog Action Day, it's a global movement, and bloggers are asked to, from their own perspective, write about a particular topic. This last year it was poverty. Um, being eminently practical people, as Brummies are, the Birmingham bloggers wondered whether there was something more proactive that could be done. And when you know how to use social media, maybe the most sensible thing you can do is share that knowledge with other people. So what happened was that uh, initially as a one-off, um, the bloggers connected themselves to the, a range of active citizens from all over Birmingham, basically said, come along, we, we won't talk at you, we won't lecture you, just sit next to somebody who understands how to use the web, Tell them about what you're trying to achieve, and they'll share with you skills and tools that you might want to use. So it, we did one. Everybody had a fantastic time. Really, the, peop, the, peop, the surgeons, the people volunteering their skill, thoroughly enjoyed themselves. Uh, and, and as a result of that, I thought, well, why don't we do it again? So we've, we've now done, well, we've effectively done a year's worth. I think we're just coming up to our 10th. And also, those surgeries are now moving out into neighbourhoods. So in this case, with the support of Birmingham City Council, um, we have started surgeries in Lazelles. We've also started surgeries in Acox Green. And what we found is that when somebody comes and sits down next to somebody, starts to learn how to use these tools, we found that the people who come in as, as innocents recycle back round, and they come back again as surgeons. So somebody who was once completely naive about this gains a passion for it and wants to share that with other people. Um, so that's another sort of peculiarly... That's another movement that has sort of blossomed here in Birmingham. And the third thing I want to show you is, uh, is a site that is uh, the brainwave of Paul Bradshaw, who's sitting down there, and Steph Lewandowski, who's just there, has also worked on it, and I work on it with him, with the financial backing of uh, 4IP and AWM and Screen West Midlands. Uh, but this has helped me investigate. And it's a, a really sort of simple idea. Uh, born out of the question that mainstream media constantly throws back at the web, which is, 
The one thing we do for society is investigative journalism. You can't do that without us. OK. Can, can we? And this is an experiment to find out whether we can. So basically what happens is a citizen will ask a question, a civic question. So here's, here's some examples. How much local council coverage is there in your local newspapers? How can Dudley Metropolitan Borough Council get away with spending less than 120000 These are civic questions. Um, and a community of people get together and collaborate to find answers to them. So it can turn into all sorts of different things. It can turn into very modest things that I, f I personally find surprisingly interesting. This is this, what is the tracking process for petitions handed into Birmingham City Council? Now, that is a really mundane question, and no self-respecting journalist is going to take a great deal of interest in that. The product of that question being asked, Linda Hines, who's a, uh, what I call a hyperactive citizen, she's a remarkable woman, was very frustrated because she submitted the same uh, petition three times, and she kept being told that it was mislaid. And when she went looking for how, how do I... What do I do? Who do I talk to about this? What happens? She couldn't find that answer either. So she bunged that question up. And the one thing I love about this answer is that somebody from within the council saw that question and instead of seeing this as a bad thing, thought, well, I wonder if she's right. I wonder if it is difficult to find our policy. And lo and behold, it was difficult to find our policy. And they went to put some effort in and they came back in and they answered her question for her. They collaborated with her. And what they did was they removed needless friction between a citizen and government. And they just took the initiative and they did what was right and what was sensible. Now, the other thing, um, and actually it's not on this front page at the moment, the other thing this site did was it was, um, it was the skills of the people inside this site, and there are some remarkably skilled people here. I'm actually going to point at Neil Houston over there, who's a data genius. But it was the skills of the people in this site who got to the bottom of how much Birmingham City Council's, and I'm the second person to mention it, Birmingham City Council's website cost. So these are really three, simply three examples. But I think they're examples of three things. I think the first one demonstrates that now we have the tools and the capacity for citizens to collaborate with government, but also to improve on government. And that's, in, that's really interesting. Um, we have the capacity through the surgeries and other things, talk about local here, other mechanisms. But we have the capacity through the surgeries to, for citizens to spread these skills amongst themselves. They don't need somebody else to teach them. They just need to be able to sit next to somebody who knows it a bit better than they do. And they do that. Uh, and also, we have through this and other tools, we have the capacity for citizens directly to use the web to hold power to account. Thank you. Great. Thanks,